In 10 months from now, in 10 months from now, we will have a new president in the Bashan. Breaking news. Council of Patriots, COP, former chairman and vocal political commentator is said to have endorsed and joined forces to ensure the re-election bid of President George Manawiya ahead of the November 14 presidential runoff election. Liberians have been shattered by an inundated social media footage illustrating President Wea and Henry Pedro Costa. In the flooded social media photo, Mr. Costa is seen wearing the Coalition for Democratic Changes campaign face cap alongside President George Wea with their figures placed up as an indication of CDC, President Wea's position in the pending the 14th of November runoff polls. Costa had been a fiercest critic of President Wea. His support could boost the Wea Taylor's re-election bid. Wea, and the leading opposition candidate, Boakai, had a tight race in the first round of election. However, neither could obtain the required 50% plus one vote of the total votes needed to win the first round. In 10 months from now, in 10 months from now, we will have a new president in the Bashan. His son, his son not playing for America. The governor in Ghana. He got children all over the place. All his family right here. Yeah. He's been married for 50 years. He's a family man. He's a deacon in the church. He is not a fake pastor. He's a truly decent, honorable, humble man. And when he becomes president, he will lift this country up, and then he will prepare us, the young people, and he will turn it over to us. And together, we will take this country, and we'll move with this country, and Liberia will become what it can be, the sweet land of liberty. Not sweet land of liberty for a few people, not sweet land of liberty for Congo people, or country, country people, but for all Liberians. Some of you ask me, why do you support Joseph Human Buakai for president? Do you know the story about Joseph in the Bible? Joseph's brothers were so jealous of him. They sold him into slavery. But they didn't know what they were doing. They were his destiny helpers and they didn't know that. And then farming would fall upon the land and they would go and seeking food. And their brother had now become prime minister and he would help them this joseph that we have this joseph who was betrayed by ellen to put this monster upon us when i told the liberian people controllable and poison i told you it will happen i said you take the controllable it may be better but it will make you well but when you drink the poison it will kill you so then we are dying we are dying but I come here to give you hope. This flag will fly once again. It will fly once again. And we will build a Liberia where your children and my children can have a quick future. Where you don't have to go to America to own a car. You don't have to go to a foreign country to own a house. You can live in this country with the blessing that God has bestowed on us. We can make this country work for every human being in this country. But to do that, you must have the right leadership to do that. Natural resources cannot build a country. A country is built by visionary leadership. Honest leadership. A leadership of integrity. And that is the leadership that Joe Walker will bring to this country. And, and I have said this. I'd rather not be senator. I would give up my senatorial aspirations in order for Joe Walker to be president if I have to. And you know why? And you know why? Because as senator, what 
significant difference we are making the Senate if we don't have a decent president in the mansion. But with the right president and Pedro in the Senate, we can change this country. We will make good laws that will benefit all of our people.